Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to showcase my Endgame Hybrid Magicka Templar build updated for the Necrom DLC. This build is capable of pulling over 125k on the parse dummy and is viable and tailored for most group content. As with all Endgame builds, it will be a group focused build, meaning it revolves around using trial or best in slot gear, so it's not a super beginner or solo friendly build. Therefore, please use these builds as a baseline as different situations and scenarios will require different gear sets and skills. With that being said, here we go. So as per usual, starting off in the character sheet, I have 64 points in a magicka and we're running the thief mundus for the race we are a high elf because high elves have some of the best passives for magicka dps as far as food is concerned we're going to be opting to use clockwork citrus fillet for anything hard a cheaper and almost as good alternative would be witch mother's potent brew and lastly if you're parsing or need more sustain ghastly eyeball is always the go-to i tried parsing with green food but the sustain just wasn't there especially with this setup if you run two-hander you could probably sustain green food and lastly, for the potions, we're going to be opting to use Heroism Pots, reason being is we have access to Major Sorcery and Prophecy through Vamp Bane and Degen. Although I didn't notice too much of a DPS difference using Heroism Potions, you can always opt to just using Tristat. And if you want to keep better uptimes on Major Sorcery and Prophecy, Spell Power Potions will work just fine as well. Whichever ones you use, make sure you have 3 points from the Medicinal Use from the Alchemy Skill Line to benefit from the full duration of the potions. So for the CP, for the Blue Tree, we're running Exploiter. Deadly Aim, Thaumaturge, and Wrathful Strikes. If you need more access to crit damage, swap out Exploiter for something like Fighting Finesse or Backstabber. For the Red Tree, we're running Sustained by Suffering, Rejuvenation, Fortified, and Boundless Vitality. For the gear, we're running 5 pieces of Reliquin paired with 5 pieces of Deadly, Black Rose Prison Daggers on the back bar, and a Zahn Monster Set. So breaking down in the main hand, we have a Deadly Dagger Nernhone with a Poison Damage Enchant. For the offhand, charged with a shock damage enchant. For the back bar, we have two Black Rose Prison Daggers, both infused, one with a flame damage enchant, and the other one with a weapon and spell damage enchant. For the head and shoulders, we have two pieces of Zons, one in light, one in medium, both in divines with max mag enchants. For the body, five pieces of Reliquin, all divines with max mag enchants. And for the jewelry, three pieces of Deadly Jewelry, all traded in Bloodthirsty with weapon and spell damage enchants. So for the skills, we're running Power of the Light. This is a pretty small damage up front and then a big explosion at the end. Don't recast this early, so make sure it expires. Um, this can be cast every six seconds, so you can use this in five skills in between. Puncturing Sweep, this is our spammable. Radiating and Oppression, this is our Jesus Beam or Execute. Barb Trap for minor force and a proc hemorrhaging, does really good damage. Degen to give us access to major sorcery. Flawless Dawnbreaker, this is our ult we're going to be using during execute to empower our beams. On the back bar, Ritual Retribution, really strong dot. This does ramp up in damage, so try not to recast this early. Deadly Cloak to proc our Black Rose Prison Daggers and also does good damage. Scalding Rune is here as another dot. This is kind of like your flex spot. You can run whatever you feel like in this slot. I just found Scalding Rune works really good for damage. Solar Barrage. So this actually got buffed and on top of the damage it does, it increases your damage done with class abilities by 5%. So really strong skill. Also keep it up during your execute because it does empower that as well. Vamp Bane. This is for Major Prophecy. Does okay damage, but the dot lasts like 32 seconds. And Shooting Star, our ultimate we want to use before we get into Execute. So for the rotation, we're going to be running all of our dots dynamically because this is a dynamic rotation, meaning we're going to be recasting our dots as soon as they fall off. So Degen and Vamp Bane become least priority when you're running Spell Power Pods, or if you change to Spell Power Pods during Execute, during Parsing. Until 40%, you can just use your jabs as your spammable. And from 40%, you can start using your beam. Whenever your ultimate meteor is ready, if you're in pre-execute, just drop that. And then during execute or when you start beaming, just use your flawless Dawnbreaker. Um, try not to swap off of jabs and beam. Instead, use like Power of the Light or Barb Trap to bar swap. If possible, swap to Spell Power Potions at 40% or during when you start beaming and drop Degen and Vamp Bane all together. Or you just skip all that and just run Spell Power Pots. Try to keep up Solar Barrage, Trap, and cloak during execute and drop everything else to just beam at 10% or less. 
so just very quickly some closing thoughts this is a hybrid build meaning we are lacking penetration so depending on how optimized your group is uh, i definitely recommend running a different set especially light armor if you need access to more penetration some really good sets that you can run would be something like sororia boss a even back alley gourmand isn't a bad set uh, you could also run something like Pillar and Urn, Aegis Caller, or Venomous Smite in place of Deadly, or even in place of Reliquin, depending on if you need the penetration or not. And lastly, if you want a budget build, then Julianos and Order's Wrath are perfect choices. So we opted to not use a Mythic because Templars have inherent crit damage, but if you do need more crit damage and you can run Harpooners, it wouldn't be a bad idea. You could drop Zons and just go One Piece Slime to run Harpooners, and I think that wraps it up. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, your comments feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or better yet come join our discord link is in the description i will have a written guide linked in the description for those who prefer that instead and as always thank you to my youtube members if you want to help me support my content creation please consider becoming a member and as always thanks again and see you in the next one